Hey, everyone, I'm home. I just came from shopping. Oh, no, you didn't. You've been out shopping again, spending money that you know we don't have. I am sick and tired of you being so cheap. Cheap? Yes, cheap. If you actually bought things for us, then maybe I wouldn't have to buy them myself. Besides, it seems as if you love money more than you love either of us. Yeah, Dad. Whatever. Lauren, come see what I bought. Hmm. Ooh. Can you play this game with me? No. How about we look through these things before you start begging for something else? You didn't get the blue jeans I wanted. You also didn't get the light-up tennis shoes either. And can we play this game now? No, we're not playing the game. I bought the game for you. How about you go play the game with your father? Oh, no, I don't have time to teach her to play this game. Anyway, this game's for Lauren. I'm a man. You play games all the time. I play adult games by myself. And my games are really hard, too. I had to cheat just to get to level 50. Maybe I'll play this with her later. Mom and Dad, you always do this. This is just like last week, the week before that, and all the other times you guys did not play games with me. I do play with you. Don't you remember just last week I let you help paint the bedroom? You ended up leaving and made me do all the work by myself. She has a point, but I am getting tired of you begging for things. The more we do for you, the more you seem to want. Oh, yeah, and last week you said we were going to make cupcakes together, and we didn't. Can we make those cupcakes now? No. How about you go play the game that I just bought before I take it back to the store? Please don't take it back to the store, Mom. Oh, yeah, and if you go back to the store, will you buy me some of those light-up tennis shoes? No, I will not. What I am going to do is check out my Facebook account, and once I'm done doing that, I am going to go cook the cupcakes. Guess what? You can play games with your father while I do that. You guys never do what you say you're going to do, and I always have to do things by myself. Well, thank you so much for letting us put that camera in, our, in your home so that we could see exactly what's going on there. So what's happening now? How's everything going? It's the same thing. She's ungrateful. She's always complaining. She's always wanting more stuff. I get sick of buying her one thing, and then next thing you know, she's asking for something more. It's like she's never satisfied. I don't know what we're supposed to do about this. So what was the last thing she asked for? She asked for some light-up tennis shoes. You know, so everybody can see her wherever she goes, leaving a trail of light, I guess. But that's so stupid. I'm not paying for that stuff. Yeah, it costs too much. No. So what about you? Has she been asking you for more stuff? She's well? always asking for stuff, more lunch money. She always asks for lunch money. Every day, if I mm -hmm. send her money to the school, she always ends up spending it on her friends. Oh. I think she just likes the attention. Do you think she's buying friendship? Maybe. So you but I don't think she should. Okay, no, she shouldn't buy friendship, but that could be happening, correct? I don't know if she's buying friendship, but I think she's stealing stuff, too. Last week, I saw she had somebody's little watch, and she, we didn't buy her that, so I don't know where she got it mm. from. Mm. She just wants stuff so much, she's willing to even do that. Anything for it. Mm -hmm. Really? Anything, you think? So what did you do with the watch when you saw it? I took it and took it to the pawn shop. I might as well make some money off of it. That's right. You didn't take it back to the school to return it? No, I figured she took it. Nobody even noticed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you think about the um, video we took of you? Did you see any behaviors that you may be doing that contributes? Well, I guess I should spend more time with her. But it's just so hard. I mean, I'm just busy. And she's always asking for time and attention. And I just can't give her that. Okay. So what are you busy doing? Checking my Facebook account, talking to my friends on social media. I mean, that's important to me. Okay, all right. What I notice on the video is that we tend to buy too much stuff for her. Excuse me, I said, what did you notice that you are doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, me. Yeah, not we. Well. Just you. I guess maybe I could spend more time with her. You could. But I'm just always so busy. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to just 
drop the hat whenever she wants me to do stuff, but I could spend a little more time with her though. So, but did I hear it correctly on the video where she said that you started painting the room and you left her to do it? You know, mm. she's only 10. She's doing a great job. Why would I need to stay there? I had other things I could do. This is called efficiency. I get her to do one thing while I go do two things. Hello, multitasking. Okay, does this happen a lot, though? Yes, it does. He always has her doing his work, Excuse things that me. he's supposed Excuse to do. Me. You're gonna just say focus on what you do. So this is his. Does this happen a lot? Well, it happens often, but I wouldn't say a whole lot. Okay, well, hold on. Maybe you can tell him some of the things he's doing. Um, that leaves her to do his chores. Like uh, cutting the grass. He cuts the grass and then in the middle of it, he wants to go do something else. Something comes on TV and he has her continue cutting the grass. Okay. One time he had her up on the roof cleaning gutters. I had a safety rope on her. Oh my goodness, okay. So... And she didn't get hurt and the roof looks great. This time she didn't get hurt. So how many times does this happen where you actually have her do something that you're supposed to be doing? Well, you said I should spend more time with her. That's spending time. I mean, I can spend time with her and get done all the honeydew items that my wife has for me. Really? Okay, but let's go back to the behaviors that we saw in the video that you individually do that may contribute to her desire to have more and more things. Is there anything that you saw on here? Well, I think I do spend too much money on her, and I think I do that more than spending time with her. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she spends way too much money on her. Every week she's buying new stuff, cuts down on how much money we have to live a better life. Okay. We do fine. We do fine, but we could be doing better if you quit buying her all the stuff she wants. It's just spoiling her. Okay. So how do you think these behaviors, buying her stuff, only spending time with her when you have stuff you need to do, how do you think this is affecting Lauren? Well, I do notice she's concerned about a lot of the things that she gets, mm -hmm. and it almost places a value on her. So it almost seems as if she values the things that make her look good, and mm -hmm. she doesn't really truly see her value. Okay. Oh, she definitely wants the top name brands. Yes. You can't buy her something that she hadn't seen a million times on <laughs> Lifestyle of the Rich and Famous. <laughs> okay. But we don't have that kind of money, and it still seems that she's just becoming more and more greedy. Yeah. I don't know where she gets all this, buy me this, buy me that. Well, okay, so what about, um, how is she getting this stuff from the lifestyles of the rich and famous? How does she get there? Well, she watches TV. I know it, but how does she actually get those things? From her mom buying her stuff, that's what I'm telling you. She, she gets the charge card and just goes crazy. Mm -hmm. Just charge it, charge it. Like I don't mind buying her things. I think that that's a good thing to have. Mm -hmm. Be able to get things for your children. Okay. That's good, but we can't afford to be going overboard. Okay. And it's making her materialistic. Okay. All she cares about is more, buy me this, buy me that, buy me the other thing. So, so far I hear you saying that Lauren is greedy because you keep buying her. Yeah. Stuff. Yes. The two of you are not spending enough time in giving her things. And then I hear you saying that um, Lauren is wanting things that are for people who are rich and famous and you don't have the money to get it, but somehow right. you get it anyway. Yes. And I hear that you also say that Lauren is um, focused entirely on getting these things. Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm hearing? Okay, so now how is this affecting you two? Well, we always argue about money, 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 money. <laughs> He's always telling me I'm spending too much money. Spending too much is not a word. We need a new definition for spending. It is not The way that she bad. goes at it, my mm -hmm. wife's a shopaholic. I'm telling you, she just shop, shop, shop. It was so bad. She's such a shopaholic. Last week, I stopped at the stoplight. She jumps out of the car, goes and buys something at the store, and gets back in the car. He is always that shopaholic. It did not take me that long to go in the store. We were not <laughs> stopped at a stoplight. It took me about three minutes, and I was quick. Okay. So. But still, shopping. We don't have money for shopping like that. Come on. We well, trying to we have goals and aspirations and spending our money wildly. We are never going to get anywhere. So what other ways have it affected you two guys? So I so I can see is you all are bickering a lot. Well, we don't agree about anything either because mm -hmm. it always comes back to the money issue. Okay. Once we get past Lauren's shenanigans and the money issue, we kind of have a nice thing going. You know, yeah. we get to go out and do different things, but we got to get beyond that hurdle first. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it's a big hurdle for you too. I noticed in a video that you seem pretty angry. Are you at that high level of anger often or it's just... No, I just get frustrated when people ask for my time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so what have you tried to fix the problem? Have you tried anything to fix the problem? Well, I try not to spend so much, but she just goes out and spends. You know, she has her own account for spending, so it's nothing I can Excuse do. Excuse me, but I said, what have you tried? I said I try not to spend. Okay, so let's stop But I'm there. being counteracted by her actions. Okay, so you try not to spend. What else have you guys tried to get? Well, I take things from her. When she's in trouble, I just take the things that I bought because she doesn't need them when she's dealing with consequences. And how does that go? She doesn't like it. Okay. And usually I give in and give it back to her. But it works for now, I guess. Okay. So do you really try not to spend? Let me ask you a question. Do you have any personal hobbies? I noticed that you play a game. How much are your games? Hmm. I buy the games on discount. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a new one, of course. Then I got to get the latest one. But hey, I work hard for my money. Okay, so you have to get the latest one. Lauren seems to have to have the latest in shoes. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there any connection with that. Mm. It shouldn't be because, like I said, I work hard for my money. I be in, I be making money. Oh, that's what I do. Is that what you do? That. Okay, okay. Any other things that you've tried to fix the problem? Have you tried talking about it or anything else? Well, I tried talking to her about talking to Lauren about it, but it goes in one ear and out the other, you know. But I have tried to help her to see the difference in spending a lot of money wisely and just throwing money down the drain. Oh. But I guess she's just not old enough to understand yet. Okay, so, well, you know, I have some strategies that we can discuss. And I don't want you to try to do everything that we discuss, but just pick out two things that will go along with your personality. For right now, we're just gonna take a, folk, a look at Lauren and what needs to happen for her, okay? And hopefully in the process, we, some other things may get resolved. So the first thing I wanna ask is, can you spend time together as a family? Both of you with Lauren. How much time? What do you like to do? Tell I'm working a lot. I you like work? doing my, once I get off work, then I got to take some downtime, play my video game, eat dinner, you know, and then I got to rest for the next day's work. But maybe we could squeeze in a few minutes. Isn't 15 minutes a day good enough? Yeah, I think 15 is good. No, I think you may need to look at a little bit more time than that. How about eating dinner together? Well, <laughs> <laughs> eating dinner together, that's funny. Yeah, we don't do that. Okay, I'm asking, is it possible to do that? I guess we could do something. Maybe we can get takeout and sit at the table and eat. So if you have no problem with that one, this one will really cause a problem. How about spending individual time with Lauren? We can do that. Okay. How about shopping, if I take her shopping with me? Okay. See? If you take her shopping and don't spend. Well, I can work on it. That, well, that's all we can try is just try to do it. What about you? Well, I can spend some time with her, I guess, after I, well, after she finishes helping me with some stuff around the house. Then we could go to the park for a minute, see what's going on there, okay. play with some other kids. How It'll about, be a, a start at least, something. Okay, how about doing some volunteer work with her? Mm -hmm. And maybe you can give her an allowance. I think both of you would like this. You give her her own spending money. And then you don't buy her anything. Yeah, now we're talking. Extra. And you allow her to make decisions on how to spend her money. I like that. What do you think? It may help with her always asking me for things. So mm -hmm. I think we can do that. Okay. Now, this may be very, very difficult. But you can't buy anything extra for Lauren for the next two weeks. You can't do it. Two weeks? For two weeks. It's okay you, with me. You want to give her allowance, a little chance to work so that she can start looking at how much things cost. What do you think? I think it'll work. We can really, I really like the part about her having her own money so that we don't have to keep spending out of the house money yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty good at not buying things when I don't have to. And I'll help encourage my wife to do the same. Okay, I don't know if she wants you to encourage her, okay? I think she can do that all by herself, okay? Yeah, I I what would you do with all of the extra money you're gonna have? Ooh, <laughs> I can think of some things to do with some extra money. For us. Oh. Right, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, our time is just about up. Do you have any other uh, questions that you need to talk about? Uh, not right now, but I guess when we try these 
things you told us, it'll be good. Okay, yeah. see you next week then. Thank okay, you so much. bye. Okay, how are you guys doing today? We're, We're doing blessed great. and highly favored. Oh, praise God. So we've had several sessions since the initial session when you started. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how are things going now? Well, it's a lot more calm at home and things are just looking up. Everyone's cooperating so yes. much better. It's really a different situation now. Okay, so what's not happening that makes it so calm? Well, no more tantrums. Good. No more tantrums. <laughs> Any spanking? No, not lately. Thank goodness we haven't had to resort to that. Yes. But yeah, it's a, no tantrum. She's mm -hmm. not fussy as much. Mm -hmm. And she's really learning to work well with the rest of the family. Oh, that is such a blessing. So I wanted to let you know we saw some really good stuff on our cameras. And I want to thank you again for allowing us to use the camera in your home mm -hmm. so that it can help us to pinpoint exactly what the problem is and work on it in therapy. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at how well the strategies have worked for you in your home, OK? All right. Sounds good. Guys, I'm home. Just finished up a little bit of shopping. Oh, great. I hope you bought something for me. What'd you get? Well, I did. I got a few things that we needed. Uh, oh, and I also got a game for Lauren. Oh, thanks, Mom. Oh, you're welcome, babe. Can we play this game together? Well, not right now. I have a few things that I need to do first, but then we can play after. How okay. about that? Come on, Lauren. I'll teach you how to play some of my games. Then when Mom's finished, we can all learn to play yours together. Well, at school we play math games, and the kids that don't know their times table just cheat off the kids who do know theirs. Now, Lauren, we've told you cheating never pays. Well, it does, Dad, because the kids who do cheat always get the highest level in class. But what are they going to do when they don't have a chance to cheat and they have to take a test? Then they're going to get all Fs. Remember, Lauren, honesty is always the best policy. <laughs> okay. So out of all of the suggestions that were given, which suggestions were most helpful to you two? Well, I'll tell you what I really liked was setting an amount for each of us to have to spend and allowance. Mm -hmm. That really works out great. At first, when we started, we had to kind of get used to it. You know, mm -hmm. we'd spend too much and not have anything left, and then we'd not have enough to start yeah. with. But now we've kind of evened it out, and I think everybody's doing well with it. Okay, yeah. so how about you and your shopaholic ways? Are you still shopping a lot? No, I have a fixed amount that I take with me and I don't spend more than that. So oh. that's helped a lot with the budget. Okay, so you're not using your credit cards anymore? No. Oh, man. No, I we cut those things <laughs> up. I made sure of that. I hardly recognized you all on that video. When I first looked at it, I was like, I can't believe this. That is so good. <laughs> so how are the new strategies working with Lauren? How is she dealing with it? Well, she's doing so much better. Uh, she just seems happier. Um, we've had time to spend t time together with each other a lot more often. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've been being able to do uh, pedicures and manicures together. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of talking about school and mm -hmm. friends and schoolwork um, that allow us to just spend a little bit more time. And we're able to just get an understanding of who each other are, mm -hmm. which I don't think we did at first. Okay. And you know, the nice thing too, now that Lauren has her own money, She's not asking us continually about more money, more money. Yeah. And it's funny now because when we go to the store, at first she wanted all these name brands. Mm -hmm. You know, she just couldn't have anything less than the <laughs> highest. But now that she's spending her money, she's over at the clearance rack section. Yes. <laughs> you know, and now it's her motto, clearance rack is where it's at. <laughs> okay, so she's learning the value of money. Yes. How about her attitude towards people? Remember she put things before people? Yeah. Well, I think she's able to appreciate relationships a little bit better now. Mm -hmm. um, she's still working out, you know, some of the things with her friends, right? Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of her friends uh, kind of dictated how she acted at home and how she felt uh, money was, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of the importance. Uh, but she's doing so much better and she's actually chosen a different group of friends. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to help her along that path with choosing the right friends. Okay, so now are the friends coming to your house? Do you really yes. get to see them and yes. meet them and talk to them? Do you like them better? And yes, I love them and their parents. Oh, so good. Oh, you've met out. their parents as Correct. well. Okay. Yeah, she seems to really appreciate her friends a little more than she used to. Mm -hmm. It used to be all about what they were wearing and what they had on and mm -hmm. how much bling they were all showing off. Mm -hmm. But now I think she really likes the fact that they're people, they're friendly, they're fun, and they get along well together. So. Once they come over, they do play games, they do different things that kids should do, you know, mm -hmm. and things are just really much better at home. Yeah. What about your community service efforts? I think that's a great idea to take children out and help others. What, what, what are you guys doing? What kind of community service? 
So we do volunteer uh, at mm -hmm. the church doing mm -hmm. a food pantry, and I think it's been wonderful because she sees people from all walks of life. Um, okay. No matter the situation, they're there for a reason, and we're able to help them. And I think she's grown to be a lot more appreciative and grateful. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, we took a trip with the food pantry one day downtown to help feed the homeless that were actually on the streets. And she just was amazed that people actually didn't have food to mm -hmm. eat or places to mm -hmm. stay. So it really made a big impression, I think, on her realizing that she's been blessed to have a nice home, plenty of food to eat. And I think it made a real impression on her. She's willing to go back out again. Oh, is she? Yeah, she okay. kind of likes it now. Okay. Now remember, being consistent is really very important. How has the consistency been going with you guys? We try to keep it going. You know, as, as I said earlier, we kind of get off a little bit and then we get back on. But we're kind of evening things out now. Both of us take turns with her and spend more time with her, which is another thing that's yeah. really helping me to draw closer to her and her to me, et cetera. And I think the more we do it, the more fun it becomes. Okay. Yeah. And one of the other things is we have established family night. Mm -hmm. uh, Good. At least once a week, we figure yeah. we start there to figure out if, you know, if we can be consistent with it, and it works out well. So we have a time to play games. Uh, we kind of take turns deciding on what we want to do uh, okay. to make sure everybody's needs are met. Mm -hmm. Ah, that is really nice. And let me tell you another ble uh, blessing of the family night. Now her friends want to come over. Yeah. And so oh. now we can have a good positive influence on her friends right. because we play family type games. We play games where they have to interact and mm -hmm. talk with each other and get to know each other. It's really great. Another thing is we bring in the Sabbath every Friday evening with oh, devotion. That, it's been really wonderful. Oh, it's that wonderful. sounds great. When are you guys doing devotion on Fridays? Uh, from Friday night to Saturday night, that's the Sabbath. So we enjoy having scripture, Bible readings, act out Bible characters. Yes. And I love singing, as you can probably tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what were you doing on the Sabbath before? Hmm. Well, we were doing a lot of sleeping. Um, you know, and it usually became so monotonous that, you know, we wake up and the sun would set and we'd be back to our regular routine. Okay. Yeah, a lot of times you, we just find ourselves looking out the door to see when the sun set mm -hmm. and we would just want to hurry up through the worship. So now it's a different story. We enjoy worshiping on the Sabbath. We enjoy being with Lauren, yes. being together as a family and serving the Creator. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, what did you have to cut out to get extra time? Well. Well, a lot of overtime for me for the family game night. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that on Tuesday and Thursday, so I had to stop doing so much overtime and just make my way home. Sometimes I would go shopping, mm -hmm. you know, to pick up different items, but I make sure that I plan that out better throughout the week. So now, Tuesday and Thursday nights, I'm home early because I'm looking forward to family night. Oh, yeah. okay. So you guys have um, been spending more time together and been, yes. you haven't been spending as much money on Lauren. Correct. Right. You've been saving money. Mm -hmm. So has there been any more effects on the family? Well, like you mentioned, we have a lot more money, so <laughs> which is great. But at first, we didn't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we increased our offering, tithing offering yes. to the Lord and to the church. Mm -hmm. And now we've got some savings for a rainy day, which was always a problem. So now we have savings and we're investing more. It's just a complete turnaround from where we were at. Wow, it's amazing just these small strategies have affected your family emotionally, mm -hmm. financially and most importantly, spiritually. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you guys are doing so much better in several different areas of your life as a result of very simple. Would you say it was very expensive to do what you guys did? No. I think we just had to be intentional about it. It's one thing to want to do something. It's another thing to actually get up and start making it happen. Yeah. I know? think so. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at some, maybe some more strategies that we can do, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to have more things available to you. Now, how about a family meeting? Maybe you can plan um, in your family meetings a family vacation. Have you ever done that before, a family vacation? No, we really haven't had time in the past, mm -hmm. but that would be lovely. Okay, so you guys would get together and plan a family vacation. Maybe you can talk about with Lauren what her future is going to be and then plan even your family vacation about around something she's interested in doing. That'd be great. Yeah. 
Yes, that so way like we it's... kill two birds with one stone. Yeah. Plan the vacation, plan for Lauren's college experience. Mm -hmm. This is a really good idea. Yeah. Okay. And then you want to be very consistent and intentional about spending time and not money yes. on Lauren. Do you kind of see, remember in our very first session when you were saying, uh, I show her I love her by spending money on her. Do you see the difference <laughs> yes. now between actually spending that time? Yeah, it makes a big difference. And that money yeah. and, and the feelings you were having back then seemed like there was a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, although you were saying, here, these, these things, yeah. I love you. Take it, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how about giving positive feedback to her? Is that happening more now? We've definitely. improved definitely in that area. You know, I, I put it on myself to make sure that I speak positively mm -hmm. to her and never negatively because what we say does have a big impact on our children. So I just try to remind her that God loves her, that we love mm -hmm. her, and that she's going to do great things throughout her life. Okay. Yeah. And I want to just kind of caution you just a little bit. Um, you said earlier that her friends come over. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that everything is within boundaries so that it's not too much of that going on so that Lawrence, back to where she started, you know, she's sharing you with everybody and everything. Mm -hmm. Only these people are her friends and um, that is not a good thing as well, okay? Mm -hmm. So keep up the great work and are there any questions that you have? Not that no, I can not at think this time. I think we're okay. I really do appreciate all of the help that you've given us. It has been a wonderful thing in our family, and it's worked out a lot. It's a well, great turnaround. Yes. It is. And you know what? I think that God gets all of the glory for that. Definitely. Amen. And I Definitely. know that he has really worked with you. If you guys hadn't been so receptive to the Spirit of God, this would have never worked. So continue to pray with each other. And pray we we'll sure will. Yes. Okay. Parents. A few minor changes can be very helpful. Sometimes problems may seem huge, but just a little change can make all the difference in the world. In this case, the family made a subtle shift to giving time and not things, and that had a very positive impact on their relationships. We'll review some ways to give time and not things. We can eat dinner together. It's very simple. Instead of going to your prospective rooms and different places in the house to eat, eat together in one spot. You can even spend time, your downtime, in the evening together. You don't have to talk. You don't have to necessarily interact. But just being in the presence of each other sometimes is very helpful. Another thing you can do, parents, is you can take your children out places in the world. The whole world is out there. There's so many things to experience together. And as they learn and as you talk, you will learn more about them. They will learn more about you, your morals, and your values. And we can't forget this. We have to spend time with God together. So we can do devotion together. You can spend time on the Sabbath from sunset Friday to sunset Sabbath. You can watch 3ABN together and talk about all the issues that's going on in the world that's impacting them spiritually. And most importantly, we can pray together and we can praise God together. It's important to remind children when God has answered a prayer of theirs and we're developing them so that they too can have families of their own that praise God.